You are now tuned in to My Skin Is My Fan on Blog Talk Radio. From goons to guys, we welcome everyone. We only have one rule. Uh, one rule. Let's be respectful. Let's be respectful. You are now tuned in to My Skin Is My Fan on Blog Talk Radio. From goons to guys, we welcome everyone. We only have one rule. Let's be respectful. I'll have next week, man. No doubt, no doubt, man, and, and, and definitely shout out to the family, liberationmindedmedia.net, that is Black Eyed Stand, Do The Knowledge Radio, The Rundown with Renee, and My Skin Is My Sin, oh, 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 and don't forget to share the show, man, if you check it out today, or if you check it out next week, or if you check it out in a thousand years, and if you are that motherfucker that digs us up in a thousand years, you are the most phenomenal individual to ever walk the galaxy for digging up this greatness and still share our shit, man. Shout out to you. Don't forget to check out the website, emblochelle.com, designsbymonet.com, and my skin is my sin.net. All right, let's go, man. Let's get Uncle Henny on the line. He ready. Let's go. Let's go. What's good, bro? Yeah, Hey shit, hey shit, I'm ready, I'm ready to do whatever niggas ready to do, man. Alright, yeah, man, we was, uh, we actually, like, had nothing to talk uh, about. I'm not like, waiting around for that nigga. First, first and foremost, I want to say, I almost hung up, could you talk about you a miracle with nigga? That's some real dirty Detroit <laughs> shit. <laughs> ready to do that. No, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm a fool, I'm <laughs> Flabbergasted, whatever. What I can't, I, my vocabulary isn't extensive enough to describe how disgusted I am. You're a miracle. Yo, let me tell you a story, right? Without going into details, bitch once made me a sandwich at her crib, and I and I knocked the sandwich on the floor because the bitch put Miracle Whip on it. I felt so violated. I said, Nah, never in my life have I been so disrespected. <laughs> In my sandwich, it's it, it, miracle with my nigga. Miracle with. Hey, bro, I, I I do apologize that my mother was fortunate enough to have a food budget, and we were able to eat shit that was not in in bulk. Nigga, we had, we had some finer things. Eighty-seven dollars a jar. Yeah, shit, compared to that that, like that lard y'all eating, what is that shit y'all eating? That's just man. Everybody, every. All right, like, this is how you know the reals, right? Niggas like heroes, right? I don't know what they call them in Detroit, right? Niggas like sandwiches or whatever. When you go to a, a, the real sandwich shop, the niggas use helmets. Niggas don't use facts. a miracle whip. Yeah, that's facts. One Still of them trying, niggas, I, I guarantee you one of them niggas in your bathroom, the toilet paper go over instead of under, right? You're over them. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. Hey, man, I can tell. hey, hey, I'm not going to let no dirty ass New York nigga come up here and slander me like that, man. Damn, this dirty, just went in. Dirty, I'm a Yo, project, right, right. Project, project. This, right. This nigga so East Coast biased, man. Like, oh, my God. This, this nigga, nigga holds no punches. <laughs> this nigga holds no punches now, about his East Coast bias, bias, nigga, bro. I'm super biased about everything New York except music, right? That's the only thing I'm fair about. Everything else, I'm super biased. I I, I tell no lie. I I I Pete 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 Pete. Talking about music. This nigga. This nigga oh, said. Here we go. Here we go. Nigga. This nigga. This nigga oh said that the Fat Boys rap better than Master P. Again. He's a he's a thousand percent right. Yo, some Master P. Yo, come on. Don't no, that yo, shit, I'm not saying. Yes. I'm not Don't saying. <laughs> business acumen. Right, like he's one of the dopest in in business ever, right? Not just music, like he's a superb businessman. Right. No one I, I, I'm not better than Master P. Like right. I'm now, not saying the nigga. I'm not saying the nigga's a super super duper MC. What I'm saying is, if you got a choice to listen to fucking Fat Boys or Master P, niggas is gonna pick Master P. Master P make better music than the Fat Boys. I'm not saying the Fat Boys wasn't no, legends no, no, no. P, that they wasn't no, no, dope no, no, in their time. No, of course. No, you see, you, you, I see, I, I see what you're doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course they're gonna pick Master P because he's ten years more current than they were. For one, mm-hmm. yep. so of course niggas gonna pick him. 
But just because somebody's newer doesn't make them better. You know what I'm saying? Like, the Migos aren't better than EPMD. But if you ask most niggas what they would play, they're going to go to Migos. Yes. I don't know. See, I would say I would say EPMD. You know what I'm saying? I think it just depends. It just depends. Like, maybe that may, may be a bad comparison because the error is so far no. apart. Right. That's what he's it's saying. Just, it also depends who you ask. If you ask anyone 30... Four thirty five and under, they're going to say to me, folks. Anyone older, they're going to say EPMD. Yeah, I go for that. I go for that. All right, Henny, let me ask you this, bro. First time you yeah. got on the radio and you was in your bag and you felt it and you was like, yeah, nigga, this me. Mm, that's a great question. I like how we start. The first time I felt like I was real, like, like I, I got the hang of this, like I can do this. Um, right. It might it might have been a Smack interview. Because Smack's not an easy nigga to get to do interviews, right? Mm-hmm. My son, this, this is how we, we were trying to get Smack for a minute. I know son was trying to get him. My man, I was on the phone with my man one day, and you know what I'm saying? He wasn't in the battle rap shit or whatever, but he knew I did it. And he happened to be in, he's from Corona, so he was at the store. And he's like, yo, your man Smack, the DVD, you know, niggas right here in the store and shit. You know what I mean, I'm like, yo, son, get his number for me. So some put son on the phone for me. You know, Smack gave me the da dun da dun number. You know, I respect mm-hmm. it. I respect the curve. Mm-hmm. But you know what I'm saying? Through time, son was able to get him on the show. I knew, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, I had him. But no, nah, it might not even be Smack. Wait a minute, so it Smack might... was your plug? Smack? Nah, nah, nah. Son officially got him on. I just attempted like he was a tenor. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But son got him on. I got no, let, let's be clear. I really got no guest on ever except Messing Man, you know, whatever. No big deal. But you know what okay. I'm saying? And, and son, we'll and take that. Well, nah, I, I got, you know, I got, you know, hip hop legend actor Method Man. No big deal, though. No big deal. That's one guest out of 100. No big deal. Mm-hmm. He's just okay. Method, Method Man, though. No, that's a, always a big deal. Nothing, man. You know, you know, it depends who you act. I'm talking this shit. He's but talking this shit. I don't, I don't, um, I don't know. See, you know, personally, the interview, like, Smack, we had a couple of dope Smack interviews. We had Smack on, like, an hour and change, like, two hours. Like, we had a fire Smack in, you know what I'm saying? And I was asking him shit that nobody, I knew nobody was ever going to ask him because he was going, yo, nobody's ever asking me that. That was, and I like the interviews, like, Niggas you don't expect that would be fire interviews, and I, I feel like I contributed to making them fire, like M-City, and we had an ill M-City interview. Shout out to M-City. I mm. conceded. I got conceded to tell a story about a situation he got into in Boston that nobody ever heard. You just saw a video clip online that was viral, but nobody knew the story behind it. I brought, mm. You know, I got him to talk about that. Um... We're gonna have some. We're gonna have some crazy fucking interviews. I mean, you know, it's a it, it's a lot of it's a lot of interviews, man. We did, in a short period of time, we did a lot of interviews. So, how many have you done since then? Since and we talk. Let's let's make this clear. What what, what are we talking about, bro? We are talking about Angry Fan, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. All yeah, right, yeah. let's angry keep it on the table. Fan. All right, we talking about Angry Fan. Like, how many how many interviews have you done since Angry Fan? And and and, and I don't know oh, if no. you've talked about that too I much. Probably. Both hands. No, no bullshit. I can count on both hands. After, after the, after that, uh, about six months later, me, Snake Eyes, Posey, um, we did the uh, um, <clears throat> brutally honest show. We only did like five episodes. You know, that's a whole nother. Shit was fire though. Know. This shit was we fire. We can get into that. Whenever you, you know, you can ask me about it. We, you know, we only did five episodes though. Mm-hmm. And then good looking, good looking. Um, and then after that, I didn't do no more. I did, I think like two years ago, Wing, you know, me and Wing, we reconciled. Mm-hmm. She asked me, I did her show once and I'm doing this now. I don't, I don't do, I don't, you know, I don't do this. Like, you know, mm-hmm. nobody else might, like, this is a big deal for me because I really don't like doing this unless, you know, I really fuck with somebody or I'm really just in the mood at the moment. 
Like, you know what I'm saying? I really fuck with you. So when you ask me after, you know, calling stuff, I told you no a dozen times. Like, you know, I, I got to tell him yes because I'm fucking Even when you're not in the mood, you got to be like, he's in fact. That's, that's that bullshit. I think I was just dubbing your shit. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. Uh, you said a minute, bro. I've been asking. It. Just, you know what it is? I'm just... I'm not so opposed to doing radio again. I just, I'm I'm not doing battle rap radio again. And nine out of ten times, when people ask me, it's something battle rap related. And I just be like, thank you, but no thank you. I don't, you know what I mean? Because what people don't understand, in, in order to really be good at that shit, you have to constantly, like, battle rap has to be like 30, 40, 50% life. of your life. Right. Like, right. Off air, you got to watch get, mad and, battles. Yes. Yeah, you gotta watch bad battles, like like mad bad. Like it used to be days where where son might be like, "Yo, we are gonna have so and so on," and I might have saw one of their battles. I might not have never saw their battles. So now I'm trying to cram in two or three battles two hours before the show just so I can, you know, know what the fuck I'm talking about and not look crazy. You know what right. I'm saying? So you know that shit is tough, man. That shit is time consuming. But I said, yeah. I told myself, I told everyone that asked me, if I do it again, I'm definitely going to do more of a, you know, just a, a grown man life, you know, type vibe show, whatever that is. You know what I'm saying? Like, what I really, what people, what people see, what I give them, what I give them on Facebook, it's that on the show. If I decide to do it again, if that makes sense. Okay, so let me ask you this: What was the last conversation you had with Caps, and how did that go? The last conversation I had with Son was after it was. I'm not doing the show no more. About a week after that, I got a phone call. I was I was in the shower. You know I mean, I was getting in the shower. I got a phone call. I was like, I'll call him back. When I pick up the phone, when I get out and look, it was Son. I call him back. Yo, what up? Son goes, yo, nigga said a lot of shit. It wasn't true. Shit they didn't mean. Yo, I apologize. I said, that's cool and all. Because I'm, you know, at the end of the day, mm-hmm. I'm not above accepting a genuine apology, right? Who the fuck am I to deny a person trying to make amends? Mm-hmm. I said, cool, thank you, no problem. It wasn't, you know, wasn't a loss of money, wasn't no violence involved. So it was a little petty internet shit. All right, cool. My whole thing was, if if you mean it, if if it's genuine, the same way you made a public spectacle of yourself, you got to make a mm-hmm. men's public. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? You can't you can't swing on a nigga in private, in public, and then apologize in private. That's sucker nigga shit. So, you know, his whole thing was, well, I'm on the phone with you now, apologizing. What what do I have to do, you know, make the whole, you know, public for? I'm like, Cause you did the clown shit, you know, in public. So, but, you know, he, he felt differently, and that was the last time. And, and the, the, the only reason Son even called me that day is because he had just gotten wind that I was going to go do the interview on the war report. So I mm. believe he was just trying to set the temperature to really see was I gonna, you know, tell everything, you know, and talk out of school. That's all it really right. was. Let's don't get fucked up. Some wanted to see was I gonna tell all of him in, in, in her business. You know what I'm saying? But that was in case I ain't do it before. I'm not gonna do it now. So, you know, but that's why he called and that was the last conversation we had. That was four four years ago. Mm. You know, and, and, and despite everything I, I'm aware son had like a real bad car accident. Wouldn't right. wish that on nobody. Hope he no, no, no. Hope he, right. You know what I'm saying? And he gets he gets right. You know what I'm saying? I I don't I don't like his character. I don't like him as a person. But I don't wish harm on him. It's not like you know I have a disdain for him to the point that I hope bad happens to him. I just think son needs to you know reflect and and you know. It makes some better decisions. You know, his actions, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, aren't, aren't righteous. You, you you know, you can't go through life. And I'm not going to go, yo, that shit was karma. That's, that's corny. I yeah. would just say it was an accident. 
but it might be some truth to, you know, you you get back what you give to the universe. Mm-hmm. And if everything's negative and, and, and shit like that, then you know you you engulfed in that cloud, B. So I don't know, but just as a man, I don't respect him. But as a human being, I hope the best for him. You know what I'm saying? And you know that's it. That's what you on that. Yeah. 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 Let me ask you this though: Where did you fuck up? Where did I fuck up? Mm-hmm. I fucked up. Okay, I got to give you some backstory. I started the show, let's say, the beginning of November. Mm-hmm. The beginning, the first the first week in December, shit went left behind the scenes. At that very moment, I knew I should have bowed out gracefully and quit the show. And if we keep in it a stack, I let my belief that we were so good at this we would all benefit financially from it eventually. Mm-hmm. And my enjoyment of doing the show up until that point and my greed financially, my desire to flourish from it financially, I went against my better judgment. And I continue to do it even though it was a poor working environment. That's where I fucked up. Did, did you make any money? I never received a penny from doing any radio, internet radio ever, from anyone ever, ever, ever. Everything was a a labor of love. Everything. So all them hours of niggas go back, all them hours niggas listen to this and that, I, I, you know, I, you know, didn't. Nothing. It wasn't, niggas can't be like, your son did it for the bag. Nah, I didn't, it, there was no bag for me. Others saw a bag, but I didn't. And that was my own choice. I'm a grown man. Was, was wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, bro. You can't just say that in passing, bro. Like, others saw a bag and you didn't. You got to tell us about that. Well, you got to remember, ownership is power. When you mm-hmm. own something, you know you have all the power. So yeah. I didn't own that platform. I didn't own the war report. You know what I'm saying? So I can't, you know, I can't control what happens. I can't, you know, divvy up whatever comes. I can't do none of that. So when you, you know what I'm saying, you you playing your position, and if you go back, this is, you know, it, it, you know, time reveals all. If you yeah. go back to the very, very, very first um, show I did, as soon as I started, I said, yo, listen, I'm not here to replace. I'm here to replace someone, but I'm not here to, you know, take anyone's spot. I understand this is done show. You know what I mean? This is this is her show. I am in a, a long-term guest. That's how I looked at it. I said, Thank yo, you. this is Sun team. Sun is Magic Johnson. I'm, I'm James Worthy. You know what right. I'm saying? The very first show I did, I... I let it be known. I'm not here to try to be the star of nothing. I think we'll we'll work well together, and that was it. No one had any clue it was going to morph into what it turned into. Like, no one knew. You know what I'm saying? Had I known that, you know, I think if anyone had known that, maybe everyone would have moved differently. But, you know, so life. Right. Hey, yeah, I think it's had a good run, though, man. Yeah, I think it was fire, bro. Yeah, we had a phenomenal run. We had a phenomenal yeah. run. Towards the end, not, you know, it went once once everybody else got wind of it, yo, there's a problem between them, obviously. But then, you know, it, you know, it reflects how you interact on air. But when, before anyone even had a clue, we, we was the Beatles. Like, you know, we didn't right. listen to the internet radio cool. Like, it wasn't cool before. Like, you know, that's, that's one thing, you know, I, I say, I think I helped change the perception of. You know, it was viewed mm. as some real niche, nerdy fucking shit. I think I, I validated it a little bit like, oh, nah, I, you know, you can be that type of dude or whatever and still do this or enjoy this. 
you know what I'm saying, be a part of this. I think I changed that perception. But, you know, I didn't reinvent the wheel. You know, he had done it before with different dudes, different, you know, a bunch of people had done it. But, you know, I think when we did it, it's just sometimes the team just comes together right. You know what I'm saying? You got the right coach, the right trainers, the right, you know, the right players get hot, the right time. I think that's what happened with us. You know what I'm saying? The right. dynamic was there. Here's, here's the ill part that nobody even figure out. It wasn't even really the best version of what it could have been. It's dope as yeah. it was. Yeah. Because, you know, I was I know for me, I'm just speaking for me, no one else. I couldn't even really give y'all like you know, I used to get a lot of times, yo, you I like you on the radio, but I like you more just on Facebook. And I used to explain to people it's not my show. So I, you know, I can't, I can't, you know, that shit becomes overbearing sometimes. Like niggas be like, "Yo, it's a fine line between you doing too much and shy niggas shy." Some people, you know, their perception is you doing too much. Others want to be shy, you know. And I think you know history shows who's what type of person. Some people are like, "Do well, don't do better than me." And I was told early on, like, chill, don't do that. Or, nah, son, chill, don't, like, you can't really do that. But if you looked at the reception, like, in the groups and all of that, the people would love it. But, you know, the powers that be didn't. And at the end of the day, you know, it's their shit. So that's yeah. what it was. Yeah. And, and, and I was telling Rome, bro. And I had a little echo. And that's you, if you heard me like mute myself and unmute myself, I was trying to fix that shit. But I was telling Rome, bro, like, oh, okay, bet. Like, 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 it's wasted talent, man. I'm, I feel like you being disres. You don't ever feel like you being disrespectful to the to the talent you've been given, bro. Like you so dope at this shit. You had niggas like nigga. That's literally you write about that shit. That's literally the first uh, podcast that or, or whatever you want to call it at the time that I actually was would set my my time to. Nigga, I bought. I still got the fucking uh, hoodie upstairs in my goddamn closet. That's you doing better than me because I never got a hoodie, a t shirt, a hat, nothing. Well, that shit wasn't free, bro. <laughs> shit. I, 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 I believe. Hey, matter of fact. Matter of fact, I bought me and my wife hoodies, bro. Angry fan fucking hoodies. Me and my old lady. 80 fucking bucks, Angry bro. Fan. Angry yeah. fan was popping there, bro. Yeah. Like, Angry fan was hey. definitely popping there. And I'm not even mad at that. I still wear that, that motherfucking hoodie. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, that shit was I, real, I, but, like, why why stop, bro? Like, we, I want to hear you. Like, I don't want to hear, like, what some... I get what you're saying. Like you, you came into the team, nigga. You're not, you're not trying to t- steal the shine, bro. Like it's your shit. But I don't want you to do battle rap. I want, I want Uncle Henny. Matter of fact, tell me when Uncle, give, give me when Uncle Henny started, bro. Like, where did that come from? Um, it's just, it's, it's just, it's a tamer, older version of what I was. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to remember, a lot of these niggas, and let, let's talk about this too. You get a mm-hmm. lot of dudes that lie about their age, and I think that's some faggot shit, right? Like, I always, you know, embrace my age, always told my age. When I was doing the show, I was <laughs> late 30s, right? I was in my late 30s, like 38 or some shit, 37, 38. So, you know, I'm I'm not, you know, 24, 25, so I'm more reserved. I'm, I'm a father now. I'm a husband. I, You know what I'm saying? I'm a cop, but I'm the same dude. You know, you might not enjoy doing certain things in life anymore, but essentially, you are who you are. Mm-hmm. And it's just, you know, I, I, obviously, I consumed a lot of Hennessy in my life. And the unk part, <laughs> I just, I just, I just, I just yeah, you know and the unk part, I just added to, you know, further you know, and break. Plus, I learned a long time ago, whatever the internet says you are, that's what you are. There's no need in fighting it. If niggas say, yo, you, you a thief, 
you'd be a fool to go on the World Wide Web and try to dispute that. It's too many people. So you embrace it and run with it. I was, uh, I was, I was regular till one day some girl asked me how old I was, and then when all the homies saw it, they was like, oh, you old motherfucker, so I'm the old nigga now out the group. So I right, cool. I'm running, I'm running with it. You know, I'm older than most of them niggas, but, you know, I embrace it. I ran with it. So I feel that. you know, that's, that's what it really was. But the personality, you know, everyone sees it. But I, got a, I got a sharp sense of humor. I like to laugh. Every once in a while, we talk about some social conscious shit. And, you know, I, I just give the, I guess, the big homie perspective because that's what I, I am. That's what I live. I, I'm not going to give you the 19-year-old nigga in the streets perspective. I'm no longer that. So I got to give you, yo, listen, when you get past that point, that fucking checkpoint in life, mm-hmm. this is one of the roads, you know, this is what you get. This is what you see. So that's all it really was. Yeah, niggas don't want to see Uncle Henny being uh, 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 politically uh, thoughtful. Niggas just want to see Uncle Henny talk shit. I realize that. that, I think, does that I, right, does that bother you? No, no, not at all, because that's what... See, that's another thing. It's like a bitch that posts nudes and, and provocative pics all day online and then makes a post, I'm tired of these thirsty niggas in my inbox. Isn't that bitch? You are showing me your fucking crotch every day. <laughs> what? How do you expect me to look like me <laughs> posting pictures of baked goods? Like, I tell everybody I'm a baker, and I post cupcakes and wedding cakes and all this and that. And when a bitch DMs me, goes, yo, do you think you could um make some cupcakes for my son's birthday? I go, bitch, get out of my inbox. The fuck I look like baking for your son? Like, that's absurd. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but that's what the internet is, man. The shit is hilarious. But you know, at the end of the day, that's what I do. Most. I, I talk a lot of shit, but it, it's really it's 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 all the matrix. If you really look at it, I seldom give my opinion. Most of my posts are I ask a question and people run with it. You know what I'm saying? Because in their head. They think I mean one thing, especially with women, right? Let's let let's not. We don't have to beat around the bush, right? We all know the best shit online is when niggas see me debate and argue with bitches. Niggas love it. Bitches love the bitches arguing with me. Love it. You know what I'm saying? Everyone loves that man versus woman thing. I do. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm very close. I. I've never really discussed it publicly, right? But I'm a, I'm a shout out, shout out to my bitch, right? Shout out to the mm-hmm. Hurricane dude. That's my nigga, right? She's on vacation right now, cooling with the block captain, right? She, I'm not doing a show, the show I, you know, envision in my head until doing our do it. <laughs> she knows this, I know this, you know, a couple, a couple of people very close are very aware of this. This is a show we have been to do for years, and for whatever reason, it just hasn't come to fruition yet. But that's the show that I'm gonna do. You know, I could give I could give people something, and it mm-hmm. it might turn out I'm right. But to, I know I've waited so long. This shit is detox now. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas, like when is the show coming? Like you know, this is when you drop in the album. I get it. But you know what I'm saying? I really want it to be that shit. So as soon as everything works out, because there's been times I'm getting fucked up. Dude's been like, yo, we're doing the show. Let's do the show. Let's do the show. And I've been like, bitch, no. Leave me alone. Fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? So it's not just us. I don't want nobody to think it's us. It's me most of the time. But right now, I'm I'm probably, this week, I'm probably more gun ho to do it than she is. You know what I'm saying? So it happens yeah. all the time back and forth. But don't get it fucked up. When Do and I finally 